Transforming the conversation on carbon pricing um, started off as a conversation around a particular um, policy issue that uh, for many different reasons, um, whether you work on carbon pricing or work on carbon pricing mechanism schemes at all, that it was clear that uh, carbon pricing is one of those issue areas that is very contested primarily due to the fact that the policy is not fully well it's not accepted by environmental justice organizations or policy folks or um, community members as a whole there are some exceptions like california has some things going on there that are part of a carbon pricing uh, mechanism scheme And, and i would give a caveat here that you know the EJ community is not all in agreement, but that there's an overarching understanding that equity and justice must be the framework by which we do this work. There must be an equitable process Mm -hmm. in order for us to have a just implementation of such a mechanism that does not exist based on certain factors. Our goal has not been to have a policy discussion. That's not the goal of TCCP in that sense, but it is to create the space by which Folks can get together from labor, from faith, from EJ, from um, larger green organizations to really unpack with one another what they think, why they think it, uh, and to see if they're in this process of sharing that they can actually gain some understanding of each other's approach, each other's opinions or way of working. Um, I like to call it alignment. Um, It's not necessarily the need isn't to get agreement. It's to get some alignment. And that alignment should be centered in an understanding of the other, even if you don't agree with the other. The idea has been to create enough space that relationships can be built and trust can be built. But by building that trust, you have to understand why that trust doesn't exist in the first place so that's the transformation it's can we get to a place of understanding each other and where we're coming from to build trust and if we and then the other thing is or maybe we can't maybe we can't build trust uh fortunately we have been seeing that people want to build trust um when given the opportunity in the space and what we try to do is infuse information not to shape the discussion in the sense, but to inform the discussion. So we had a guy from the University of Michigan talk about the carbon mechanism pricing that scheme that works, that is used rather by a lot of traditional organizations, which is a modeling system done through an economic, uh, an economist's eye. And then we did one through uh, another environmental justice lens uh, Mm -hmm. where there's policy written by EJ folks who are doing it with an economic lens, but really rooted in the impacts, uh, the cumulative impacts on communities that are not calculated in the economic um, modeling um, resources that are used to develop it. So it really is bringing together these worlds that are having, talking about the same topic, but coming at that conversation from different perspectives. Mm -hmm. And there is in a space that exists where that is the goal is just say, let's talk about where we're coming from but while we're doing that let's get to know each other and so building the relationship and i remember one of the participants says i really like this group of people that i'm doing this with and you know we were thinking we we're going to do this like once every three months like we'd like to meet once every six weeks i mean so this was coming from the participants we are learning so much we want to engage in this we want to understand from each other what it is that you think and why you think it. And it would be great, right? Like if folks who are working outside of EJ could understand an environmental justice equity lens and justice lens Mm -hmm. and be able to understand why that's important in their approach if they want EJ to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that for EJ to understand that groups that are not working from that lens may not be working from that lens because they hadn't considered it before. They didn't realize it was important. They didn't know that these impacts existed. They didn't understand that, you know, giving a person a check wasn't going to prevent their kids from having asthma because they don't have the research, right? Like, so there's really this, this sharing of 
back and forth of information that is transforming the way in which people are engaging in this dialogue within this space. The ultimate goal is that perhaps it will spread out of this space <laughs> and become more of the norm in, uh, in the spaces that these folks are op operating in and the potentially to engage in other spaces where maybe they're not having this discussion but would like to start having this discussion. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's the work of building relationships. I liken it to personal relationships. Yeah. When you communicate well with your significant other, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> when you don't, it's a hot ass mess. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is a work in progress. There is, there's, you know, when it's really nice because you understand each other, you can talk about anything. And when you don't understand each other and you don't have enough patience or openness to engage with each other, you're not kind, you're not willing to hear. Um, and so I think TCCP is, a, I would say it's a good representation of that at, in this macro level as far as not having that personal relationship. But I just remember like that, that in, this, in the climate movement and most, almost every movement space that we forget that we are in the same fight. Yeah. We forget that we're individuals. We forget that we're committed to a goal even if we have different approaches. And because we forget that we are people first, community first, we oftentimes miss the opportunity to be transformative.